We've actually discovered thousands of planets by now. Uh, the exciting thing about this one is that this is the first planet we've found really in the cradle. It's it's still swaddled up in its um, you know, in its birth nebula, and finding a planet just at that early birth stage is really the unique new thing. So what has been used uh, to discover this? I mean, I imagine there'd be a lot of resources put into this. Yeah, well, uh, I'd love to say, you know, in the, in the cold night and astronomers out there gazing at the heavens, but uh, the answer, unfortunately, is a lot of technology. Um, you know, we had to throw an enormous amount of really high-tech uh, new gear at this. There's the Hubble Space Telescope was used for part of the discovery. Um, but on the ground, we have these uh, really large new observatories, and they're equipped with this really advanced technology now that can kind of un un undo the twinkling. It sounds like a very unromantic thing to do, because the one thing we like stars to do is to twinkle. But we take that twinkle out, because that twinkle comes from uh, the shimmering of the atmosphere, and then you get a very clear picture. So when you say you've got these pictures, what, what can you actually see? Well, what we see uh, is that planets are actually formed. It's quite a messy affair, and that's one of the reasons it's hard. Uh, it's been hard to really open these windows and figure out what's going on, because they're formed in these kind of disks, these spinning disks of gas and dust that surround a newborn star. Um, and when we find uh, one of those disks, we go probing in there to see if we can find the evidence that inside those disks there's a little planet being born. And the problem with planets is, of course, they're a lot smaller. A lot of, everything about them is smaller and fainter than the stars that is being born right next door. So it's a little bit like trying to find a little faint glowworm sitting right next to this bright searchlight that's the star that's about to turn on. So how long will it actually take to get to this process of a, a fully formed planet, if you will? Well, that's part of the secret new source here because... Traditionally, the way we thought planets happened is that you start out with a big cloud of gas and dust up there and something gives it a nudge and it, it, it collapses in and you form a star in the middle. And then there's this process where it's a bit like a little cascade. You start out with grains of dust and the dust clumps up into bigger grains. And then you get pebbles uh, and then the pebbles clump up into rocks and the rocks into things called planetismals. And there's this sort of this cascade that runs along uh, as size scales grow and the thing accumulates mass. So that process takes millions of years. But one of the things about this new research is that maybe there's a second way to go about doing this. Maybe there's a way to fast track that process and have the whole thing form in one big crunch right at the beginning. If it's heavy enough, the whole thing just falls in like, you know, like a, an object falling down a hole and you end up with very rapid planet formation, which is a rather different scenario than this kind of accumulation of mass, which is the orthodox view till now. Now, I know this is one of the most important questions, I'm sure, but when you do discover a planet, how do you celebrate? I mean, this doesn't happen all the time. Well, um, well, Firstly, we do media interviews and we try and, uh, <laughs> we try and interest the public in, in these new discoveries. Um, in fact, one of my um, colleagues is actually at the telescope. He's on Sky right now at the very telescope where this was discovered. So uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for our, you know, popping the champagne on this one because we're actually working right now. Once you get time on these very large observatories, um, you know, that's very, very valuable. So this, this particular press release and this uh, publication's caught us at a, a bad time for the, for the party season, I'm afraid.